This week we're going to talk to you about taking pictures at a wedding ceremony. But first, let's make sure that our camera is set up for the occasion. Now, it's going to be really quiet in the church when you get in there. So what I like to do first before I go inside is just spend a minute in my car and go into my menu and find the beep function on the back of the camera and enable that beep function for when I go back inside. Now cameras like this Canon G12 actually have a volume setting on the beep function, so you want to turn that up as loud as it goes before you go in. Now one of the most important things when you get inside the church is your photo location. In order to get the best pictures, you're going to have to be sitting on the aisle. So you can either come early, or you can just ask people to move over and they'll be happy to move. Now here's where we get serious. If your camera has something like focus assist or red eye reduction, now is the perfect time to use it. Usually, it'll kind of look like an orange laser coming off the camera and you'll really see that popping off the white wedding dress. Finally, most churches will be in a low lighting situation. So with any luck, if you keep it on auto, your flash will keep popping up like that. So just never mind, if it pops up, just drop it back down. Pop it, drop it, pop it, drop it. And now that we have the tech specs out of the way, let's take a look at some of the obvious shots that you have to get. Now obviously one of the most important shots is to get the bride walking down the aisle. The rules are simple on this. When the bride's in the aisle, you're in the aisle. Another must-have photo is when the bride and groom are saying their vows. This is an intimate moment and it can be tough to get this one when you're battling heads or iPhones or things like that. So what I like to do is just get up and just walk around them. This is a very important moment and you just don't want to miss one second of it. So take as many pictures as you can. And remember folks, photographs are just like snowflakes. No two the same. You can never take enough pictures at a wedding. And finally, the most important photo of the day has to be the kiss. This is a shot that you can't miss, and luckily I have a little trick for this. See, most couples hire a professional photographer to shoot their ceremony, so all you have to do is keep your eyes on them. In this case, Richard is in the aisle, he's got the shot lined up, so all you have to do is wait for that split second when they come together, and then you just dart out, boom, nail the kiss every time. Well, there you have it, folks. With wedding season just around the corner, hopefully some of those tips and tricks can help you capture every one of those intimate moments this summer. For thestar.com, I'm Randy Risling. That was a good picture. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs>